Well, hello guys. It's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my Flavor Twisters doing today? I hope that you're doing well. What we're going to do today, Flavor Twisters, we are going to make a delicious sweet potato pie. And here's all the delicious ingredients that we are going to be using. Over here, I have two pie crusts, and these are Pillsbury, the only kind I use. I have three eggs in this dish that we're going to be adding to the pie. Back here, I have three-fourth cup of white sugar. I have one cup of light brown sugar right here. And this is nutmeg. Um, I have a tablespoon of that in here. I do not use cinnamon when I make my sweet potato pies, just nutmeg. And here I have some eggnog. And I'm going to be using the eggnog instead of the milk. I have two sticks of butter over here. We're going to be using um, one and a half sticks. And I have two teaspoons of vanilla extract right there. And right here, I have three delicious um, sweet potatoes that I boil and I peel them. And I will show you that in the video, exactly what I did. Hi guys, my sweet potatoes are done. I'm gonna turn the fire off and I let these boil um, for about 35 minutes. What you want to do is make sure that your fork goes all the way down in there with no problem. And that's how you can tell that the potatoes are done. So what I'm gonna do is let these cool off and we're gonna get to making our pie. Okay, I let the hams cool a little bit. Now while they're hot, they're still hot. Now you just take, cut the end off and you should be able to peel away the skin real easy like. And this is how you have to do it. Just peel the skin away and then put them in a the bowl. If see how you put your knife up under, it comes right off. So what I'm gonna do is finish peeling these yams and we're gonna get them in the bowl and we're gonna get our sweet potato pie underway. Okay, just peel it away. It's easy to do, but you just have to watch because the potatoes are still hot. And I mean, they're hot. So this is how I do mine. Scrape it away. Okay. Ooh. All right. So I'm going to finish peeling the other two and we'll be ready to get our pie started. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to mix this sweet potato pie up. And the next month and a half, I'm going to be flooding you with delicious recipes for the holidays. But I want to do it ahead of time because when I cook my meals for the holidays, um, I'll do my pies Christmas Eve. That's too late to put a pie recipe up for you guys, so I'm doing it now, which my granddaughter doesn't mind because I always have to make one whole pie for her. So, what you want to do, the potatoes are still hot. You want to mash them down a little, and we're going to be using a hand mixer for this, okay? Now, what I usually do at this point, I usually take my hand mixer, and I usually um, beat it just a little bit so I can de-string it. And what I mean by de-string it, you may have eaten sweet potato pie in the past that was stringy. So this stops that process. So what you do, you just do it like this. Just mix it for a minute. Okay. And that will de-string your pie. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'll show you what I mean. Take some of the pie stuff off the beater. Look, and you can see strings. Do you see them? See, look at that. Okay, and look. Look, guys. See the strings? 
And that's what I usually do. Um, I beat it first, just for a minute, like I just did, to destring it. Now you rinse your beaters off. I'm rinsing them off. And I will put them back in the mixer, okay? Now, let me put these back in the mixer. Okay, now what you want to do is take your butter and add the butter. And it's room temperature. Um, I don't want to put melted butter in. You can do it if you want, but I usually just put the room temperature butter in. And I'll take one stick and just cut it up in there like this. Okay. And then I'm going to take a half a stick of the other butter here and I'll just do a half here and then just cut that in a couple of pieces okay now the sweet potatoes are still warm they're not cold so you just mix it up like this and that will melt the butter okay and we're going to still use our hand mixer but what I'm doing now is getting the butter melted down this is going to be so delicious, guys. And it's simple. And I do have a pumpkin pie recipe up there already. Um, so I will put a link to that down in the description box. If you want to see how I did my pumpkin pie. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is start adding our goodies to this. And then we're going to mix it up some more. Okay. I just wanted to get the butter down in there so it'll start melting, which it's doing. Okay, now I have a cup of light brown sugar. I like to use the light brown sugar so your pies will have a nice golden-like color to it. I used the dark brown sugar before, and to me, my pies, they didn't look as scrumptious, you know. They didn't have that golden color. They were a little too dark. And I have the three-fourth cup of sugar here. The white sugar. Now put that in. Then we're going to add our eggs. I got three eggs here. You don't have to beat them. They will get beaten when I turn the mixer on. And we are going to add in that nutmeg. A tablespoon. But I will taste it to see if it's enough. I think that is enough. Because that's McCormick nutmeg and it's pretty potent. Okay. Now, what we want to do is add the two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is put this on and I'm going to mix it. Turn it on though first. Mm, yeah. Oh, that nutmeg and that vanilla smells so good. Now, usually when I make um, my sweet potato pie, I use evaporated milk, but this time I'm using eggnog. So I have the cup of eggnog here, and I'm pouring that in. It's nice and rich and thick. This Southern and Comfort eggnog is really delicious, guys. So I just wanted to put a spin on my original sweet potato pie by using the eggnog. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit high now. Okay, don't have to mix it that long. Yeah, we go. And it smells delicious. Okay, that should do it. Now, let me see here. This is what you do. Just take your beaters out and beat that off. Now, what I'm going to do is taste this and see how it tastes. I want to see if it's enough nutmeg, sugar, and stuff in it. Mmm, yum. Oh, my God, good God. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> I said it all backwards. This is delicious. You can taste the eggnog. 
Let me rinse my spoon off to taste it one more time. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And it's enough nutmeg with that tablespoon. I don't need to add any more, and it's just the right amount of sugar. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I got these two pie crusts. We're going to put these in the pie can. Pie pan? I said pie can. I cannot talk today. We're going to put the crust in the pie pan. And I have my oven preheated for 375. And we're going to put them in. So let me get the pie pans together. Okay, guys, I got our pie pan, our pie crust in the pie pans. And these are 9-inch pie pans. And all you do is just... Fold the crust under. It'll fit in this pie pan perfectly. You just fold it under and just pinch. And that's what I like about this. You can tell they're homemade. They're not picture perfect of the frozen crust. And the frozen crust to me is a little hard. And this tastes more like homemade pie crust. Believe me, my mother baked homemade pie crust for years. And when she tasted mine, she said, oh, did you have my pie crust recipe? And I said, no, Moss Pillsbury. She was like, what? Next time I went to the store <laughs> with my mom, I took her to the store. She um, said, give me some of that Pillsbury pie crust. I was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> so here we go. I have two of them here. Now what I'm going to do is take the ladle. And this is how I like to distribute my um, pie stuff and I'll just take it and try to get the same amount in each one here we go and then I'll divide it up because believe those three sweet potatoes is enough to do two pies okay That's three there. Okay. I got enough. I'll put four here. Put another one here. Mmm, yum. And I got enough to put another one here. So basically, guys, and there's still a little bit of batter in here. Put a little bit more there. Okay. Now... I just give it a jiggle so it'll even out. And I got pie crust. I mean, I got batter on this pie crust. And what I'll do, I'll wipe it down a little. That way it won't burn up there. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is put these in the oven at 375. And... You want to cook them until you stick a toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean and you'll know your pies are done. But I'll leave them in there for about 40 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes, and I'll check them. I'll let you know exactly how much time they spend in the oven. Isn't these beautiful, guys? See you in about 35, 40 minutes. Well, hi, guys. I'm back. And here is our beautiful sweet potato pie. Now, what I did, I have some extra creamy Cool Whip, and I like to eat mines like that. So, and you can see the pie over here. What I did, I'm going to put a little bit more Cool Whip on mine. I'm greedy when it comes to that Cool Whip. Mmm, yum. Mmm. My granddaughter already snatched her pie, so I have the one over here. I left the pies in for exactly 45 minutes. And this is how they turned out. I put a toothpick in it. It came out clean. I knew they were done. Let's give this pie a taste. Mmm, yum. Mmm. Come on. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. It's still warm, guys. I, wouldn't, I let it cool off for like 10, 15 minutes. I should have let it cool off a little bit longer. But I couldn't wait. Mm. Oh my goodness, guys. This is so good. This cool whip. Oh my goodness. 
This pie is delicious. You can even taste the eggnog. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And the Pillsbury pie crust got crispy under the bottom. Um, and you can see how it moves in a pan. So it's not stuck. It cut easy. The first slice is usually hard to get out. But it came right out. And um, it's delicious. And this is the brownness I like on it. It getting, didn't get too brown. So, make this sweet potato pie for your family, guys. See my cool whip sliding off the pie. It's still warm. But um, it's delicious. You're going to love this recipe, guys. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, my regular sweet potato pie was good, but it's something about the eggnog. It gave it a kick. So, make this recipe for your family, guys. The holidays are coming up. And like I said, I will be posting a lot of recipes for the holidays. And I'm going to try to post them ahead of time. So, if you want to make them for the holidays, you can. So, go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of all the recipes that I upload. This is Flavors with a Twist, my version of the eggnog sweet potato pie. So, this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye!